quickly change tack by looking at what the PDP has just done by instituting a lawsuit compelling uh, INEC to prevent APC's presidential candidate, Bola Tinumbu, and Labour Party's Peter Obi from uh, replacing their running mate. But we thought that was a non-issue. How come the PDP appears to be crying more than the bereaved? Well, um, politicians have their reasons for, for doing certain things. I believe that sometimes a legal battle is like a risk. Uh, sometimes you go into it, not sure of the outcome, but not sure of what the outcome will be, but you are sure of what you want. As far as the PDP is concerned, it is looking for a way to stop both Peter Obi and uh, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinobu, the candidate of the APC. Whether anyone accepts it or not, Peter Obi and Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinobu have become the factors in this election. They are the two candidates that people are talking about the most. I am not saying that they will come first and second. But the truth is, on social media and even in the traditional media, Chinobu and Peter Ogi clearly, clearly enjoy greater visibility than, um, than Atiku Abubakar. Of course, the young people have rallied around uh, Peter Obi. is doing well with the young people who see him as the alternative to the, the usual Nigerian politician. So it's not in doubt that young people um, prefer, a good number of young people prefer Peter Obi. And then, of course, Ashwa Jubala Metin, who is a candidate of the ruling party. That in itself is a strength. And for someone who has had a lot going for him over the years, he, he enjoys a lot of visibility in the Nigerian media, he enjoys a lot of goodwill in the media, and then even beyond. So you expect that he will be on the lips of Analy, political analyst will be on the pages of newspapers and all that. So this must be troubling to the PDP, and they are looking for a way to stop Peter Obi and um, Ashwari Bola Ahmed Sinoku from contesting the election. Yes, they are trying to seek, they are trying to get the courts to disqualify both men. Uh, as far as they are concerned, both men have contravened section 142, subsection 1, and section 29, subsection 1, section 31, and section 33 of the Electoral Act 2022. Uh, they believe that after the June 17 deadline of the, of the INEC for parties to submit names of their presidential candidates, as well as their running mates, that there should have been no way back for any candidate to change its running mates. They are arguing that um, Kabiru Masari and um, Dati Baba Ahmed of the Labour Party, of the APC, and the Labour Party, respectively, should be forced on the APC and Labour Party. That's the people that they've replaced the two men. Um, um, I mean, they are saying that Kaburu Masari and Doyo Okupe should be forced on the, Labor, uh, the APC and the Labour Party respectively because they were the people whose names were submitted to beat the June 17 deadline 
of INEC for the submission of the names of uh, presidential candidates and their running mates. So as far as the PDP is concerned, it wants it wants those men, those two men, Donyo Kupe and Kabru Masari, retained as the running mates of Peter Obi and Ashwa Nibola Metinobu. And they are saying that if for any reason they don't want those men to remain their running mates, then they should be disqualified. And you know, without a running mate, a candidate cannot stand for election. That means you are not a candidate yet if you don't have a running mate. But what the, the PDP fails to realize is that, yes, there is room for substitution of the vice presidential candidate. The vice presidential candidate can be substituted on account of ill health, I mean, on account of a death and voluntary withdrawal from the race. So the law permits the vice presidential candidate to voluntarily withdraw from the race. And if somebody has been made running mate as a kind of placeholder, you cannot remove him unless he decides to voluntarily give up that position or unless the person falls sick, falls sick and dies. So as long as the law permits Politician, political parties to replace running mates in this case, either through voluntary withdrawal by the running mate himself or in the event of death. I don't see anything that Peter Obi and Bola Tinubu have done wrong. And that is why INEC has little to do um, on this matter because the extant law is clear. There are procedures to be met to replace a running mate. Once those procedures have been met, then the candidate has done nothing wrong in replacing his, uh, his running mate. He has to, the running mate has to depose to an affidavit that is voluntarily withdrawing from the race. Our politicians exploit situations a lot. I personally do not think we should have anything called placeholder. But as long as the law permits replacement, in this in this case, then they've done nothing wrong, and it, it's it's just like the PDP yeah. are wasting their time. They are not going to get uh, the the nod of the court to disqualify um, Peter Obi and the Ashwa Jibola met you know, because yeah. the 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 law is quite clear, and I don't think they can succeed in their desire to get the courts to say that uh, INEC was wrong right. in allowing those individuals to be replaced.